Hi, I'm Megan Clayton, Range Specialist with Texas A&M Agri-Lock Extension Service. Today we're going to talk about how to do a cut stump spray to get rid of your brush. In order to cut the stump as low to the ground as possible and as flat as possible, you can use a number of tools depending on, on the size of the stem. For smaller stems, it's easy to use loppers to take care of that stem and cut it off close to the ground. You could also use an axe. Be careful not to get too much of an angle on it because your chemical will run off of that side and it may regrow from the high side. You could also use a brush cutter. These cutters are really great for cutting brush, probably up to about a two, two and a half inch uh, diameter. Uh, they're easy to use, but it's best if you have somebody spraying with you so that one person can cut and one can spray the stump. When you use a brush cutter, you're going to want to make sure to use some sort of protective equipment in order to protect your face from any of the flying uh, debris. And also you may want some earplugs because it does get pretty loud. Whenever you're using any chemical mix, you'll want to make sure you're wearing long pants, long sleeve shirt, and gloves. Underneath your leather gloves, you may also want to use some uh, nitrile gloves which protect your hand from the chemicals. The chemical mix for a cut stump treatment is easy. You're just going to do a 15% triclopyr or Remedy Ultra mix with 85% diesel. So no surfactant is needed because diesel is your carrier. You can mix up that mix in either a backpack sprayer or a small pump-up sprayer you can get from a number of stores. The important thing will be to make the correct amount of mix. So say you're putting in a 15% triclopyr, you'll time 0.15 times the number of ounces in a gallon. So the number of ounces in a gallon is 128. So easily you could do 128 times 0.15 to find the number of ounces of chemical you need to add. And then fill the rest of that up with diesel to make one gallon. When you're looking at your different tips, the sprayer is going to come with a tip, but you can buy an X1 or an X2 T-Jet nozzle to make sure that you're putting out the right amount of, of material. If you use the tip that comes with the sprayer, you're going to want to make sure that you dial it down so it's more of a screen and you don't waste that chemical mix. Behind these tips, you should always use a check screen. Check screens are really cheap and they go in right behind your nozzle tip to make sure that it doesn't clog. If it does get clogged while you're in the field, it's easier to take off the nozzle and tap out your check screen than to have to go back into it. The kind of trees that you'll want to cut stump are probably with fewer stems because the more stems you have, the more stems you're going to have to cut flat and treat each one. If you cut it high enough to leave some of the stem, make sure you go ahead and spray the entire cut stump surface and the stem all the way down to the ground. So we're going to demonstrate doing a cut stump treatment with a simple brush cutter. He's going to take his brush cutter and on this single tree, uh, single stem mesquite, he's going to make a cut as flat as possible in order to get that uh, flat surface to apply the chemical. So after you've cut the, the stump, uh, you're going to have this nice flat surface, which is what we're going to spray with our diesel and remedy mix or tractor mix. Uh, some people ask me if they can shred a field and then come back and spray the stump. And there's a couple of problems with that. One is actually finding the stump, and another is that it kind of leaves a straggly end, so it's hard to get that chemical down in there. And the reason we're spraying it in the first place is that underneath the soil surface, there's a lot of wart-like looking structures on the stem, and those are bud zones. So anytime the plants are moved on the top, this plant will grow back with multiple stems. So if we were able to just leave this plant, we would come back next year and find new sprigs coming back up out of this. And even though that would look like a small plant, it's actually tied to that much larger root system underneath the soil surface. Uh, so we do have to spray this top um, and make sure you cover any of the stem that's left as well. Now we're going to spray the cut stump surface. If you'll add just a quarter or half of 1% of blue dye to your mix, you'll be able to tell if you've sprayed that entire cut stump surface, especially on the larger stump. Also, make sure you spray all the way around and then cover any of that stem that you've left. So that
that's it. It's pretty easy to do a touch stump treatment for many fresh species. You can do the touch stump treatment any time of year, which is a big advantage, especially during the hot months. So, uh, if you need further information about brush busters, be sure to check out the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Bookstore Brush Busters Cut Jump Treatment Method publication, and it will have detailed information that you saw in this video.